Spring in Mexico is unique. It doesn't come in a single form, but in many. Cool, dry, warm and humid. Each one brings endless changes to the ecosystems. Trees shed their leaves, pollinators awaken with the heat, and orchids bloom once again. With them, the story of spring in Mexico begins. This is the Peña Zacatagua, a metamorphic monolith nearly 200 meters tall. At 2,100 meters above sea level, it rises as a guardian protecting an oak forest. On its slopes, with no soil and no water in sight, orchids survive clinging directly into the rock. Anchored by tiny roots, they endure relentless sunlight and spring heat. Few plants can inhabit this desert of stone, but here, orchids transform the impossible into an act of beauty and resilience. We advance among stone, branches and dry leaves. The land seems broken, arid, inhospitable, but it's alive. Orchids occupy every corner. Epidendrum radioferens and Prostechia semiaperta cling to the bare rock, while Epidendrum lignosum climbs towards the light on oaks. From the fallen leaves, Prostechia michoacana emerges, and on the ground, discreetly, Spiranthes draw white spirals that seem to rise out of nowhere. Thousands of flowers erupt all around, transforming the cliff into a suspended garden of stone. To the west of Oaxaca, at nearly 3,000 meters above sea level, rises a mountain in the heart of the Mixteca Alta Geopark. Its geology is imposing. Layers of sediment and volcanic rock that create poor soils, where few plants can survive. Here, the landscape is a mosaic of resilience. Twisted oaks and pines, agaves storing water in their fleshy leaves, 
cacti such as Corypantha and Mammillaria defying drought, Telanzias living on air and ghostly figures like the hollow tree all endure frosts during winter and intense spring heat. Only two orchids endure with them, Rincostele maculata and Alamania punicia. Each year, thousands of orchids lose their color and vanish from their home. Each one, a pollinator left without a partner, a cycle broken. Yet, in their natural habitat, orchids like Prostekia Karwinski still remind us of nature's silent love. There is one spring night when the earth holds more stars than the sky. Nocturnal pollination in orchids is fascinating. Moths drawn by invisible scents and white petals reflecting the moonlight. Epidendrum parkinsonianum hangs from the oaks, sometimes stretching for many meters, blooming with the fragrance of night jasmine. Its pale petals remind us of the miracle of evolution, a mythological being that inhabits two worlds, shadow and light.
As night falls and the moon rises, we enter a forest of shadows and light. The air is heavy with fragrance, so much that we forget that other creatures also dwell here. Voracious insects, eyes glowing in the dark, and whispers that pierce the silence. Beauty and fear coexist beneath the same moon. At times, we think little is lost when arid forests burn, but we are wrong. These mountains guide life forms that exist nowhere else. In the spring of 2025, fire devoured thousands of hectares in Mexico. Oaks, agaves, dilancias, cacti, and orchids turned to ash. The flames consumed more than plants. They disrupted pollinators, broke cycles, and silenced entire landscapes. In just a few days, what had taken centuries to grow was lost, as fire does not distinguish between the visible and the invisible. It takes everything. What if we could turn back the clock? What if we could repair our mistakes? We would discover that even in the driest landscapes, life has found a way to create unimaginable beauty. High in the mountains of Guanajuato, beneath a scorching sun and a cloudless sky, blooms the Mayflower the corpus flower, one of Mexico's most beautiful orchids. For months, it endures absolute drought, gathering energy in silence, until it suddenly bursts into color and beauty. Lelia Speciosa.
The delicacy of its petals, amid dry oaks and arid soil, reminds us that beauty can survive, even where hope seems absent. And with this flower, spring bids farewell, leaving behind one final glow, marking the start of summer. Thank you.